Hey guys, quick heads up before I start the video, the link down below takes you to my Patreon where you can download the project files for this video. Also gain access to my premium tutorials and in-depth courses where we build games together from start to finish. Check out my Patreon below, gain direct access to years of experience so that you can start working on your dream game tomorrow. Hello everybody and welcome back to a new episode of the multiplayer Bean Battle Royale series. So in the last episode, we basically set up uh, the final part for the session logic. So now we have the full session logic all the way around. So we got uh, creating session, finding session, joining session and destroying session. We also now properly handled the network and travel errors and the ability to then leave a session. So now that that's all finished, we need to start working on the actual game. And in the last episode, I said, not sure what exactly I'll be doing in the next video. Uh, but now I am, so this video we just quickly are going to need to set up the actual battle royale level to kind of look like a battle royale because then in the next episode we're directly going to start on coding the actual gameplay. So the episode after this one we're basically going to be uh, getting some user interface into the game to make sure that your character has some health and some feedback for the game and stuff like that. We're also going to be working on spawning so the characters can properly spawn. Uh, and, and then we're, we will just basically be transitioning and working on all of the match flow logic so that the entire game makes sense. And then we're basically going to make it so that the battle royale will have all the features that a battle royale needs to have. So uh, what have we done here? Well, if we take a look at the assets folder and then go over to materials, then we'll now see that there's a new folder introduced called our landscape materials. So if you want to check out how I made these and what they're set up as, well, basically they just got a couple of textures, some material functions here, and then a landscape material. And the landscape material is responsible for us being able to basically paint on the landscape using grass, dirt, and rock. There's also an auto landscape material, so based on the slope of your landscape it will then basically start painting as we kind of see here in the material preview it will start painting the grass on the correct spots and then where the slope is it will start painting the rock so that we can easily sculpt a landscape that will uh, make sense basically so that's what we got over here as a new asset in the material folder and then under props we basically added a tree so we now will have the functionality to place trees and uh, and yeah, that's it. So what we need to be doing right now is actually uh, we need to generate a landscape on which we want to play. And because this video is focused on realizing the multiplayer part of the battle royale and just the whole logic and match flow logic and all the coding stuff, we're not really going to be diving into how the landscape material works here. If you do want to see how it works, then you can download the project on the Patreon. Uh, you will get the full project file there. But if you don't have a material such as this one, or if you're following along using a different type of character, etc., then of course you can just import any type of landscape from, for example, the Unranger Marketplace to use for yourself. So what will I be doing? Well, first of all, I'll be clearing out these little player starts and then we will be removing the block here. So that keeps us with just the lighting in the world. Now that we got that, we're going to click save all. And then, and then on the top left here, we will be able to select the landscape mode. So when we hit that, we'll see that uh, Unreal Engine shows us some type of a landscape here. So for the landscape, we want to set enable edit layers. The main reason why we want to enable the edit layers is because otherwise we will not be able to delete data. So you will be able to keep sculpting, but you cannot just delete the data and it easily delete the height and stuff of your landscape. So we're going to turn that one on. Then we're going to click on material. In here is going to go our landscape material and then the material instance of it. Then we want to put our location to zero instead of 100 and the size is fine. So now we go ahead and hit create that gives us then a black landscape then if we go ahead and click on the paint over here then we need to assign the landscape material layers here so these are the available landscape materials and they each need their own layer so for that we're going to be creating a quick folder here under materials and landscape we're basically going to call it landscape layers and if we open that one up then we are going to click on weight blended layer and it's all going to go into that same folder. So under here, landscape layers. Um, so if we type in here, landscape layer, actually 
control copy that then we can click the folder and hit save so that gives us the auto layer then once that auto layer is applied here we'll automatically see the grass span spawning in check out cactus center right now steam and early access it's a very fun multiplayer video game cheaper than a starbucks coffee so if you want to have a good time with your friends or strangers click that link down below and i appreciate every single one of you and enjoy the rest of the video bye Then we need to do the same for the grass one. So weight blended layer normal. Uh, type in the folder name. Click there. Save it. Weight blended normal. Type in the folder name. Save it. Weight blended layer. Type in the folder name and save it. So there we go. So that gives us all of these landscape layers. And now we're just going to go ahead and sculpt ourselves a little battle royale type landscape that makes sense. So first of all, I'm going to be painting a little bit. So I'll just put it to something like 0.3 and then a thousand would work. So I want to have some type of uh, areas like this. So some dirt areas. And it's going to be a little bit random, but so are all maps, right? So it's not going to be the prettiest map but it will make sense for our battle royale and uh, that's the purpose of this one all right and then we just want to start sculpting it a little bit so we're going to click on the sculpting tool let's put it to a thousand and let's put it to 0.15 strength so first of all we want to have a little bit of an outer layer here so we're going to up our camera speed let's say six and then we're going to be drawing some mountains here. So actually, let's reset this to the normal size and to 0.3. So I just want to do something like this to create some mountains here on the outer layer. And there we go. Now that we kind of got an outer layer, we're just going to make a, some slight adjustments here, just like that. And some more over here. There we go. Um, so now we see that the auto landscape material does its job and automatically creates these slopes. So that's great. But the player will kind of be spawning over here and be running around here. So let's make a couple of hills kind of. But we got some cool terrain for the battle royale level. So yeah, that is our landscape for now. I think it looks uh, okay and fun. It gives us a bit of areas to basically walk around and be able to shoot the other players, but it needs a bit more life. So at this point, we're gonna be uh, painting some trees on the landscape. And after we added some trees, we will be adding some rocks. So in order to paint the foliage, the trees on the landscape, we're gonna click here on the foliage tool. And then over in the prop folder, we saw that we have the tree here. So we're gonna drag the tree in and then we're going to select it and with it selected we're going to set its density to one the uniform skill is going to be one to 1.5 so that it can basically scale the 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 tree like that we're then going to say that we want the uh, we want it to align to the normal uh, so what that means is if i would place a tree over here then it would actually place it sideways like that. So we don't want that. So what we're going to do is align to normal off so that when I place it, that it will still be straight up like that. And then we just want to increase our brush size to be a little bit bigger so that we can do up here. So if we increase it a little bit, do something like this, then we can just start painting some trees. So let's make a little bit of a forest over here. So instead of dragging it, it always gives a nicer effect if we actually click it. So I'm going to click just some trees everywhere. And it is, of course, a beam battle royale. It's not a realistic nanite battle royale. Mm -hmm. 
perfect. Okay, I think I like the looks of this. We also want to have some areas that aren't filled with trees so that players can properly see each other and shoot. So over here, we'll just add a couple. Now, if you want to uh, replace these trees, you can always just click on select and select individual ones and then place them somewhere. So I'll just get these guys out of the way like this. So I think that looks fine. Um, then what's, uh, what's up next is that we will be placing some rocks. So rocks, you can either also place them using the foliage tool. So if we scroll up here, we see that we have a boulder and that's what I will be using for my uh, rocks basically. So if we look at it, it is a very small boulder, um, but yeah. So we can either just hand place them like this and then we could say scale them up a bit. But for the purpose of this video, let's just put that inside of the landscape, inside of the foliage tool as well. So we're gonna drag our boulder in. Then we're going to unselect the tree and select the boulder. Here we're gonna do the same, so one density, and then we're going to say that the size was very small right now. So we're gonna say, let's make it four to something like six. So let's go ahead and click on the painting tool and have a quick look at what that shows us. So, uh, yeah, that's a good size. So right now I'm just gonna be placing a couple of these rocks everywhere. We do want these to align. So here we're gonna keep align to normal on. And let's go ahead and paint them on the landscape. Okay, so that's it for the rocks. Then what we're going to do is that we need to ensure that these props actually have collision. So right now, if I am to drag in a default class player start over here and hit play, then what we will see is that, is that I can walk uh, straight through the tree and I can also walk straight through the rocks. So in order to fix that, we're gonna click here uh, and click on the foliage tool again. And then we're gonna select both the boulder and the tree. So the, they have the same setting here. And then if we scroll down, we see these options over here for collision preset, which is no collision. So we're gonna set this to block all, and there we go. So right now, if we give that a quick little test, so here we got our bean, then we can actually walk uh, against the tree here and here as well. So there we go. Now that we got that, we got ourselves a nice, beautiful little landscape. Now, the last thing that I want to do is that uh, we see these crazy shadows appearing sometimes. So when we select the landscape and go over to the details panel, then we're going to scroll down a little bit to the lighting and we want to turn off the cast shadow. So when we do that, you see that all those crazy bugs get fixed. And uh, if we think about it, well, we don't really want, we are not going to go underneath the landscape. So we don't really want this landscape to cast shadows. And in our engine five, casting those landscape type shadows looks a little bit weird. So now that we uh, we made that, then we basically got ourselves a nice little map. And in the near future, we're going to be adding a bunch of cool stuff that will be randomly spawned on the map. So for example, we will have these loot crates basically coded to, to drop ammo. And then the loot crates can open up like this uh, and the players can loot. Now these all have to be in random locations across the whole map. Apart from that, we will be putting some little houses with doors, for example, we will have some levers so the players can do some funny stuff. And we might also actually put an actual catapult in here so that players <laughs> can basically just run around and shoot that catapult. So wouldn't it be fun if we can actually use this, replicate it and be shooting boulders at each other. So yeah, that's uh, some of the IDs. Besides that, we want to get some more like buildings things. Like I said, we also want to get health packs into the world so the players can get health packs. So that's the type of stuff that we will be looking at in the next video. So the players, obviously, since this is going to be a battle royale, we will add a, a, a plane in the near future that will fly over the level and then players will start to drop from the airplane. So the, the player starts like this are not uh, necessary because that's not what's going to happen. But what we do need is that we need some type of a pre-lobby in the near future. So uh, what we will make in that case is that we will put some water around this whole island and then we will sculpt a little separate island off in the distance with player starts where people will basically spawn. And then from there, they will be able to basically go to this level and then uh, they will spawn from the airplane. Just like you would see that in any battle royale. But before we do that, we're just going to add these basic player starts here that we can use for the next episodes. So we're, let's make the players aim this way and then 
we at least have some functionality so that the players can correctly spawn while building out the game like this in its testing phase. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. Remember, all of the project files are available on my Patreon, link down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.